lunge one leg far back behind us and come back up using the strength in our hips and legs. The second option is going to be to slide back and then transfer the weight back onto the back foot and come back. The third option is going to be adding a spiral or coiling movement through the arms and then a downward plunge before adding two waves to the weight transfer in the lunge before you come back up to center. So you're going to begin with a few reps, finding the side that works for you. So don't try and throw yourself into a deep lunge if you're not ready. You need to be able to go back and come back without momentum. Slide back. Find a comfortable distance before transferring the weight towards the back leg. Transfer forwards again and come back to center. I have become a huge fan of this movement since my rehab as I've been able to follow the strengthening journey of my recovery by how far into this lunge I can go. In the beginning, eh, forget it, and now I'm quite comfortable in a nice deep lunge. So if you stick with this one consistently, it will bring you results. Let's take a quick look at a sequence in which I am playing with the movements that we've been exploring in the previous weeks. Here you're going to see plenty of arm waves. You'll also see spinal waves. The thoracic vortex with thoracic pops up and down. You'll also see the pelvic weave plunging lunge and some thoracic isolations thrown in for good measure. This is not a choreography, it's completely improvised and I would encourage you to do the same. So exploring with freedom the movements that you have been practicing so diligently in the previous weeks. Remember your happy feet and remember the imagery that I've been giving you throughout the course and have fun.